Ms. Simone Fields, Chairman of the Miaro Guayaguayari Unemployment Organization and Concerned Citizens, and other members of the Executive, Mr. Marlon Sylvan, President of the Newlands Council, another executive of the, the organization, Mr. Elias Hyman, teachers, parents, students, staff of the National Energy Corporation Limited, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I ain't sure what it is. Good morning or afternoon. I think I should. Oh, good morning. And thank you for the invitation to address you at this momentous occasion in the life of the community and the student population of Guayaguayari RC Primary School. Special thanks to the National Energy Corporation in the fulfillment of its mandate to foster st strategic community relations and alliance through the creation of value opportunities for development in our community Miaro, Guayaguayari, and environs. The refurbishment of the Guayaguayari RC Primary Library project, being one of many initiatives focused upon realizing these initiatives. We must all appreciate the significance and priceless value of the library in our schools and its relevance to the students. For it is said that the library is one of the most sacred and treasured assets in the educational molding and growth of our student intellectual capacity. It is a source of study, concentration, and mental discipline as reservoir for research and critical analysis. In spite of advanced technologies such as the internet, smartphones, wireless devices, and n now e-books, yes, e-books, the sanctuary of the library can never be replaced, never. The partnership between NEC and the community stakeholders must be preserved to ensure maximum added value to the quality of life within the community. If we are to become a knowledge-based society and to secure our competitive ed edge on the international stage, then it is imperative that we lay the foundations for quality learning and reading in every school and community across the country. If in our time we had these kind of facilities, I am sure that we would have been much further today. I listened to the principal talk a while ago, and I was sitting there and saying to myself, when somebody said it was, I guess it's Mr. Jupiter who said that Maybe the next president of NEC is sitting in this classroom. And I feel proud to hear him say that. Because when I were your age, I was actually vacillating between being a crab catcher, a fisherman, and going to school. I did all three at the same time. I didn't have a library to go to. And sir, so you are quite correct. Because today, despite of all that I did, I am indeed the Minister of Arts and Multiculturalism. <laughs> the library project must be seen as the vehicle to drive the creative and intellectual capacity and resourcefulness of our youth. It should therefore be noted that in spite of significant gains made in educational development, tertiary attainment levels, higher enrollment of primary education, and the construction of modern learning facilities, functional illiteracy continued to impact negatively upon the all-wrong growth of our youth population. This is very much in evidence in the high levels of dysfunctionalism, low esteem, lack of interpersonal skills, 
antisocial behavioral patterns and violent tendency amongst our precious and very imaginative youth. We must, as parents and community stakeholders, inculcate and promote a culture of healthy reading habits and also encourage the appreciation of local history and literature amongst our youth. We have a great example right here in Mayaro. I am sure that most of you would, have, would know Michael Anthony. He's one of ours who had the same background as most of us who are sitting in these classrooms today. As Minister with Responsibility for the National Library Information and Library Development, I am very pleased to inform you that before the end of fiscal year 2010, 2011, li modern libraries, the construction of modern libraries in Rio Claro and Mearo will commence. In Mearo, in Mearo, there will be a two-story facility on a new site. And in Rio Claro, there would be the same. The present library structure in Mearo will be preserved and would be reverted to its original use as the village hall as we know it. I will also work towards ensuring that each school in the district has an updated library facility and that there is a synergy and systems network with the main Miaro library facility when it becomes operational. And I can assure you here today that is not a vacuous promise. It is going to be started and it is going to be finished. I would see to it. In this regard, I'll be speaking with officials of NALIS to immediately do a review and assessment of each school in the district to determine logistic, logistical and material support for their respective libraries. With regard to the Guaygri RC Primary School Library, I will also ensure that your book stock and other requirements are taken care of in the medium to long term. The community must own up this, to this project. It is indeed an investment in human capital which must be protected at all costs. I should say that again. The community must own up to, it, to this project. It is indeed an investment in human capital which must be protected at all costs. In conclusion, let me once again sincerely commend the National Energy Corporation for embracing the ideals of good social corporate governance practices. Through effective collaboration with bona fide community groups. It, be, it would be remiss of me if I did not mention the hardcore voluntary support of the Mayaro Guayaguayari Unemployment Organization. The Guayaguayari Environmental and Specialized Services Company Limited, who selflessly ensure the completion of the library project. The members of the Newlands Village Council must also be recognized for their partnership with NEC in the construction of a community homework center in the community center. And I heard a while ago it was alluded to, uh, but the other training programs such as the tendering for contract procedure and systems for small contractors, we applaud you. An energy medical technician training for members of the community is most welcome to ensure that our entrepreneurial skills and intellectual capacity is on par with other communities. What good it is for us to have all these facilities 
and we don't have the technical know-how to embrace it. That is what exactly happened to us in the past. When we have all the jobs coming here, and we have all the, the systems in place, and we, the people of this area, we weren't prepared. Well, we thank the NEC, and we thank all the other persons and corporations, community group groupings, that um, actually make it their habit to ensure that these things take place in our community in the way that it is now. As I conclude, let this library be seen as a growth pool for Miaro educational intellectual future. Let it be the incubator for the shaping of intelli intelligence and rational minds, the platform for constructive learning. In other words, let it be the place where you can occupy yourselves with positivity and leave all the negativity behind. You have a place to do that. Let it be the pride and joy of, every cons of everyone concerned about the future of learning in Guayguayari and Miaro. Again, I always like to use myself as a yardstick, and if I can be of any inspiration to you, then let it be so. Use me as an inspiration. If I can do it, you can do it. I thank you, and may God bless you.